Hi guys, it's Jessica here for part two in this marathon of box openings. Um, today is, uh, it's Monday, June something. <laughs> it just went out of my brain. Um, and I was going to check my phone, but my phone is right there. Um, so I'm going to do this one next. Uh, this is my Nina doll. Um, she has an Etsy store and um, uh, an Instagram and uh, I couldn't remember, but I did initially buy this original doll from her um, off of Etsy, and I should have checked the date because it's been, it was probably like 2016 or it, it might be 2015. It's been a long time, um, but this is the smallest doll in my collection. Um, she is cast in resin. She has removable eyes. Um, she has a little face plate. She's got little elf ears. Um, she is double jointed in her knees and elbows. She has a mobility joint in her thigh. Um, she is a, she is a marvel. Look at her little joints in her legs. Um, and hand casted. So this isn't a printed doll. This is a hand casted doll. Um, this artist, uh, uh, is from Mexico, lives in Mexico, and um, I bought this doll from her. I thought it was incredible, um, and I've been watching her ever since, <clears throat> and uh, probably, oh, not quite a year ago, maybe last fall, um, she started posting some more dolls on her Instagram, and in different resin colors, which uh, she had a mint one. Um, she did a, she did several different fantasy colors and there was one that I saw uh, That I was instantly in love with it and wanted it so badly It was a pretty like mint resin. I think with a strawberry theme like it wasn't just a blank doll um, it came with clothes a themed wig um, and uh, I can't remember if I think that my, this original girl did come with a wig. Um, she came with two face plates. She has a sleeping face plate and the open eyed, and it and she'd come with a face up. And so uh, I don't remember if she came with maybe she came with a skirt. It's been such a long time ago. Um, it, it's been such a long time. Uh, I've made a few things for her over the years, and I've lost those things. <laughs> um, they're so tiny. Uh, so she's in need of something new. Um, but this girl, I, I looked at her for months. I wanted her so badly and it just, you know, there was always other priorities, uh, layaways I need to pay on things like that. And during the quarantine, uh, I was looking at her site again, looking at her dolls and I like went to go look at her Etsy to see if that that uh, mint doll with the strawberry thing was even still available. I just assumed it was, it had sold. I mean, it, it is a good price. Um, uh, it's amazing. I just assumed it had sold a long time ago and I was going to go look on her Etsy and then maybe send her a message to see about maybe getting a, a custom doll made. Um, maybe something similar to the strawberry doll, but the strawberry doll was still there. And she had her on sale, so I had to buy her. I had to buy her. Um, so this is another doll that has been in uh, in shipping, uh, quarantine, pandemic shipping. Uh, it, everything that I've, most of the things that I bought for Mexico in the past oh, usually take a long time, in, unless you're using EMS or something like that. But if you're just kind of using the the regular routes. Um, it takes about a month uh, for things that I've gotten in the past. And so it was a little longer than that. Like I, I, all I can say is that I ordered it during the quarantine, probably in April, late April. Um, maybe I had gone back to work or maybe I was, had gotten the go ahead that I was going back. So then I was like, okay, I can go ahead and buy this doll. <laughs> um, but here she is uh, and um, uh, says May 4th. So that's not bad. Yeah. So today is, 
it's the second week of June, third work week of June. I keep going to go look at my phone to see what the date is. Um, but uh, I'll put it, I'll try, oops, try to put it on the video. Hopefully I wasn't flashing to cut that out. Okay, so I'm going to open this as carefully as I can um, without showing addresses. And this is such a cute envelope that she sent it in. And it comes with a little stand. Um, she made like a whole little, um, like full set for it. And she's so cute. Um, but I hope that I will have the chance to order some more dolls from her, um, especially since she's doing the fantasy resins now. I mean, oh my gosh. Um, so size-wise, I think that this doll is eight centimeters, um, if I remember correctly what her measurements were. So she is the smallest doll. The second smallest is this little Russian doll. Um, whose sister is still in shipping too. <laughs> um, so I think she's like 12 and she's like eight. So very, very tiny dolls. I love the tiny dolls. And okay. I should just cut this top. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Lola has burped like two times since I started trying to open this. Sorry guys. I'm a slow poke. Trying to be careful. Okay. So this thing is really I mean, it tells you how small it is uh, that it fits in here and the stand. So here. Oh, it's so cute. Look. <laughs> um, okay, so here's what's inside these two little boxes. And. It has this little tiny EMS sticker, Mexican Post, Coros de Mexico, um, like this little avocado stamp, fragile. So it's like this little, little package. Um, thank you. I think it says be safe, Rooney. Um, so I wonder if this is the stand and then this is maybe the doll. There's a picture of, um, that looks like the my the very first one she sent me actually. That might have been it. That that might have been the very first one. Um, or she did make a wig that went with it. Um, and it was so it says uh, doll name Belly, uh, type of number number eleven, micro eight centimeters, two thousand nineteen skin mint, eyes two millimeters. I think they're even smaller than that. Uh, neck fifteen millimeters, wig one inch three it's smaller than that i think it's even smaller than that i don't think it's a, an inch in circumference <laughs> Pro uh, probably uh less than that um face plate dreaming face up yes uh and this is i think this is actually a sticker um so let's open I'm assuming this is the doll, so let's open this first. Just going to. I had this carving knife that I was using for opening boxes, and it was working really good, but it is downstairs. I don't want to go all the way down to get it. And I just noticed it's got the one of the little stamps on it too. So Oh, this must be the stand. 
Oh, and it's strawberry themed. Oh, this is so cool. So this is what, so it's not the doll, it's the stand. Oh, that is so neat. Um, so it says Heche, Heche and Mexico. And uh, it says Nina dolls. It's inscribed in there. So this, um, oh my goodness, this is so delicate. So there's this wire. And it, oh, see, it's got little, uh, this little wire, and this probably loops around their um, waist. And it's got two little blobs of uh, probably maybe like glue so that it's not, uh, it doesn't scratch them. But that is, and I don't know if this is something that she casted or if she made this all of, out of polymer clay, but it's gorgeous. I love the strawberry theme. And what good timing! Strawberry season is in the summer. Um, July, August uh, is typically strawberry season around here. Okay. So that must be her. That little box. And I think that was just some extra padding. Yeah, some extra padding. Okay. It just weighs nothing. It just weighs nothing. The stand probably weighs more than her. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look it. Okay. So it's a doll and her wig. So her little shoes. Oh my gosh, look at those shoes. Holy moly. So she's got this little outfit. Um, and she does, she comes with a sleeping face plate and an awake face plate. And she has little actual removable eyes. Um, okay, I'm going to take a picture of this before. Oh, actually, let's see, can I? I'll just. see if that worked <laughs> okay oh my goodness this is incredible look at this wig uh, you can see she, she used some very tiny tiny tule fabric for the wig cap so um, and there's some other oh, okay here's the back of it um, I think that those are some extra eyes and those are maybe maybe two millimeters yeah maybe they're so little and so here oh sorry little eyes in this little thing right here sorry guys I'm trying to find and you can see the wig uh, has a little um, hairdo part is so pretty and perfect and I think these must be like little wrist cuffs um, and maybe this goes on her head I'm not sure I'll have to look at the pictures to see how her outfit went um, oh and she has little wings so there's her wings and so there she is um little shoes little tiny shoes little tiny outfit Wow. Wow. Okay, 
I am going to carefully open her. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so cute. Oh. Oh my gosh. I, I already know I want another one. <laughs> I already know. So I'm pretty sure that she has some dolls in her shop right now. Um, so um, I'll I'll put a link. Um, I can't remember the name of the shop. Uh, uh, Maybe it's Nina Dolls. I don't know if that's the name of the shop. Um, but I'll, I'll try to leave um, links. And if I forget, and if I forget to put links for things that you guys want, uh, prod me in the comments and I'll try to go and edit things because I know um, that I forget. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, my freaking. Oh, what? That, how did she even do that? Uh, uh, I'm looking at these shoes that she made. Like, how? How? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I have, okay, but this is cute. I probably have to turn off the light again so that you can see. But she's got her on arranged on this card. She's arranged on this card and her little outfit here. Um, a little skirt and top and these little um, uh, leggings and those are the little tiny shoes so it looks like she made the shoes out of clay and or resin and they've got these little bows on them I just uh, I don't even know how <laughs> how 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 so awesome Oh, on the back here, um, magnet for the wings. Okay, how am I going to get her off of here? Wow. Use these scissors. Just hold her very carefully. Very careful. Oh my gosh. And she's wearing this little tiny underwear set. It is incredible. Gosh, did she, did she like crochet it? It almost looks like it was crocheted. It's so tiny. And I just noticed that she has a little tiny magnet, which is brilliant because that was the problem was that I could never get a wig to stay on this one. And um, I just took that, uh, it's a little bit of um, from fr uh, faux fur and did I, I might have actually glued it on her head. I can't remember. But I see that she's got a little magnet to keep. Oh my goodness. So she's, you know, she's double jointed. Um, she's got, oh, let me come up here. She's got the mobility joint in her thigh. And it actually works. Like, so she improved that. Because I don't think it stayed up before um yeah it's a it's a totally different mechanism so she so she did change it uh yeah so i'm seeing the magnet on top of the head and the improved the mobility joint functions now which is like look at this look at this you guys And it stays. Let's try this one. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I cannot believe this. This is insane. This is all casted. So hand casted in resin. This is not a 3D printed doll. Hand sculpted, hand casted. Um, oh, so she's got this faceplate. It's uh, sticking on the magnet. So it's a little magnetic faceplate. Um, here are the little tiny shoes. Oh my word. So she must have sculpted them on the doll. <laughs> Wonder if they actually go on. My goodness. <laughs> wow, that's actually. I'd be really afraid of losing them, of them falling off. But there she goes with her. <laughs> She's doing some crazy moves. Let's put her. I want to put her little wig on. Um, so that is just fantastic. Um, the, the idea with putting the magnet on the wig, that is just really smart. <laughs> so I'm just carefully getting it out of this bag. Oh, it's so tiny. So this, I don't know if this is soy, kind of feels like soy. soy or silk. There. And it stays on pretty good with the help of that magnet. Like that, definitely. It got kind of flattened, so I think I might See, it got flattened in the, so I think what I would do is put some saran wrap on it to kind of get it to shape to her, but it stays on. Let's see. Yep, that magnet's doing pretty good. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, and I love this, I love this resin color. Like, I'm all about the mint and the teal. Like, oh. Um, so let's look at her, her wings. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. Are they two pieces? Maybe? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Those are gorgeous. So it's two pieces. Is there a magnet in her back? It kind of looks like there might be. Let's see. Yeah, it's sticking there. I'm not sure what the other magnet would be for. It's maybe to put on the outside as more security. But, yep, those are staying on her. Her, oh, her wig came off. <laughs> I don't know 
if she can wear her wig and her wing at, wings at the same time. They kind of get in each other's way. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I would have to very carefully. Let's see. Let me try it this way. Let me try putting that on and then putting the wings on over that. Yeah, it wants to pull the wig. But you could display her for sure. You could arrange her how you wanted to display her. Um, let's see here. I don't want to lose these little pieces. Oh, these little eyes are just... And I still have the box um, that Nina came in. Um, it's in the other room. But I have that, it, she came with this little gift box uh, that was painted and decorated um, and had all of her things in it. Um, and this picture reminded me, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that that was the girl. Um, and she came with that little outfit and she came with that wig. And I think I do still have them. Um, I would have I would have kept them in that original little box. Oh my gosh, okay. Isn't she incredible, you guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I don't want to lose her things. So she probably is going to wear Not gonna, she's gonna wear her little, her little bra and underwear. <laughs> um, and I'll probably keep her wig on her, um, so that I don't lose her parts. This is immaculate. Okay, let me carefully take this off. I might speed through this part of the video just so that you're not watching me move in slow motion. These little tights, oh my goodness. So it looks like she, yeah, she definitely had to hand sew that. Um, oh, this is so adorable. This is the, the little skirt. It is so hard to work at the scale. Like, this is just crazy to me. Oh my gosh. Let's see, how do I get that on her? Does it have a little, oh, it's got a little bit of elastic maybe? I want to tear it. I'm afraid to tear it. <laughs> I think that this loops around. But look at this thing. It is so delicate. The little fairy made it. <laughs> this kind of looks like a feather, but it's fabric. And I love the, the frame, you know, the frayed fabric. It definitely looks like just little tiny fairies made these clothes out of little scraps and okay so I think this is a little blouse oh my god yeah, I'll have to look on the pictures to see how this is supposed to go. But look at that, it's so delicate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. 
I will put some pictures at the end so that you can get a better look at her if you couldn't see her very good in the video. But she's incredible. Thank you so much, Rania, and she made it safe and sound. Stay safe, too. Hope things are going good for you down there. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, I really wanted to show some of this stuff a little more up close, and this seems to be working out the best. Um, so I put her on her little stand, um, and uh, I got her wig to stick a little better. Um, it does fine if I'm not trying to put the wings on, but the wings kind of pull it. And so I put a little uh, poster tack and that's keeping it on. Um, and I put uh, the other pieces of the outfit on my other girl. And I went back to look and see when I had, when I had bought her, it was August of 2015. So that's almost, um, you know, almost five years ago. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't think it was that long ago. Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, and uh, her Etsy shop does seem to be down right now. Um, and I don't know if that's permanent or, um, oh, I didn't notice this little picture. Look it, oh, it shows you. Okay, so that's meant to go on her head. Um, I went to back to go, I wanted to look at the photos and her shop um, was down. So, um, but she, do, she does have the photos of her dolls on her Flickr account. Um, if you, if you do look her up on Etsy, it has a link to um, her Flickr, her Instagram, um, all those kind of uh, social medias, and she's got photos there. Uh, and I went back to look and see, and yes, this was the girl that I bought. It's this girl right here. Um, and uh, that was her right there uh, in this little outfit and this little wig. And I went to go try to see if I could find the little box that has her stuff in it so that I could put it in this video. And I and I know it's somewhere. I just, it's in a box somewhere. <laughs> um, you know how it goes. Uh, but now she's um, got some clothes to wear. I really, I don't know, I should, I should revisit this and see how I do making clothes of this size. I, I kind of gave up give, making her things. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I could not make make her something that she could wear that actually fit <laughs> um, at this at this scale. She's so tiny and so little. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, I didn't see that at first. I love like that's got the little, the little picture. Um, but yeah, uh, and I got it. She's kind of doing a crazy stance here. <laughs> uh, but she does, I don't, so what I, what I meant to say is I don't know if she still has one available or not. Um, there was a blue one. She has a picture on her Instagram of this girl and then a one that she casted in blue. And I don't know if that blue one has sold, but uh, I bet you there's a good chance that if somebody is interested in, in buying these dolls, um, that they that she would probably make you a custom one. And I, I, I already forgot what I paid for this. I did get her on sale, um, but I think she was around 200. This girl five years ago was a hundred, um, which I thought at the time I thought was too little uh, for the craftsmanship and how intricate and detailed and handmade and everything. Um, so, but I think with the full set and the little stand and all the little things that she made with it, face up wig, uh, all of that, it was a little over 200. Uh, so yeah, really, really, really great part of the collection. And, um, uh, I am, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I bought her. I'm really glad that she was still there and I was able to get her, um, my little strawberry girl. Um, she's great. I love her. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye.